Mina san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And um, today we are doing a little haul video mm. um, because we went to the Gunpla World Expo mm. or the World Tour mm. um, in Ikebukuro. Mm. Um, and we stopped by um, Gundam Front in Odaiba for our annual trip to Mecca. Um, <laughs> our annual pilgrimage to Mecca. Yes, our an Wonder. annual pilgrimage to Mecca. Sorry. So my birthday is the beginning of August, so we always tend to go during the summer. Also, mm -hmm. it's convenient because there are school holidays and yeah. things. Yay. So the whole family got up, went to um, everything Gunpla today. Uh, it was exhausting. It's like midnight now. We are in a homestay, not homestay. Uh, like an Airbnb. An um, Airbnb. Yeah, an apartment. Rapongi in a town we totally don't belong in. Yeah, yeah. Rapongi is way too cool for us. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you want to talk about that kind of stuff, you know, request that. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll make yeah. a video talking about that sort of thing. But anyway, so things. All right. Maybe we'll do... Denver City stuff? Or oh, the Diver City stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Odaiba stuff. Odaiba so stuff. first off, with our order, we got a, um, we got a little lotto thing where it was like you pay like 600 yen and you get a thing randomly drawn. Mm -hmm. And so I get this sticker, uh, which uh, is about cell phone size, so I put it on my cell phone sticker. And it's a beautiful, um, like, embossed um, Xeon thing. Um, it feels nice. It matches our tattoos. Yeah, it matches it matches the tattoo. Um, so, yeah, um, I like it. It's cute. Um, it was a fun surprise. He okay. has that on a clear case, not directly on his cell phone. Don't. Oh yeah, it's on a clear case. I didn't stick it on the phone. Yeah, but that way I can swap it out if I need to. Mm. Um, and if it goes bad, I can just pull it off and put it on something else because right. the sticker is really nice regardless. Yeah. Okay, so you guys know about our bear guy collection, right? <laughs> Um, so this is the plush oh, bear guy. God, she's so cute. I know it's it. This is the bear guy San uh, from Build Fighters. Turn not her around. Try. Oh yeah, yeah, There's yeah. Sure. Details on her bow. Oh, there are. Oh, it's this China. So. Oh, and the little it's got the little kitty thing on it there. Oh mm -hmm. my god, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Kawaii as fuck. Mm. Okay, so anyway, this is adorable. Um, we liked it. Uh, it was a little much. I think it was like three thousand, yeah, three thousand two hundred yen. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's about thirty bucks. Uh, but it's cute. Okay. Like if you're gonna roll Gundam hard. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna cost you some money. We are nerds. Um, oh, that's yeah, a little tag that tag. came with it. Okay. That is. So really she, cute. I guess she's Gundam Front exclusive. Yeah, she's a Gundam Front exclusive. Um, so you can just find her. We got the the new panda guy, um, because which is so yeah, it's a it's a petite guy. Um, the, it's the new one. Um, you know why not? And this is not an exclusive or anything. It's just the yeah. new one that just came out. You'll totally be able to find this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were excited to get this. So we picked it up because you know it was like six hundred yen, um, and we were gonna get it anyway. Yeah. Um, one of our daughters asked for an SD Unicorn Gundam, so we picked one up. This is the new EX standard. Because, uh, like, when your six-year-old daughter tells you, I want to build the Unicorn Gundam, you say yes. Yeah, right, exactly. So <laughs> You say yes. Yeah. And, like, we've talked about before, our, uh, you know, everyone in the family builds them. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's that. We'll probably do a little unboxing and maybe a review video of it. Sure. We might even have Katie talk about it. Yeah, that would be kind of fun, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, Tina don't, wants to do that crossbone, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we ordered her the the exclusive Gerbera Tetra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Build Fighters. Uh, okay. So, so anyway, the expo. So this is for the Gunpla Expo. This is a fan. Um, if you've never seen them. Um, so you've, you've, you've all seen the, the traditional Chinese style fan that like folds out. Um, the Japanese style fan, if you haven't seen them, is basically a plate type thing. And then it's got a stick on it. Mm -hmm. But these are even more convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have the stick. And, you know, so they're easily mass produced and you can just you know put your thumb in there for ease of holding while you're waiting in line they hand these out to you They're yeah. really nice yeah so you know it's it's beautiful and it tells you about ordering crap yeah it's got a lot of a lot of cool things going on there um and so you know that's that's just a little freebie that we got and i mm -hmm. think that those are cute so i wanted to show you guys next oh boy black tie stars Gunpla, uh, or sorry, bear guy. Um, this is this is the little poochie guy, um, the petite guy, 
for Bill Fighters Try, and it's the um, it's just like all the others, except it is in exclusive black TriStar colors. <laughs> um, so, so it's going to be really, 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 really cute. Yeah, I mean, of course, I would have picked this up if I'd seen it, but it was not me that saw this and screamed like a little girl. Well, this was totally David. Yeah, yeah. This is this is me. Well, like I love the black TriStars. You yeah, know, they're a classic. Um, Later date. That's our son. We're in a hotel room, so yeah, we're in a hotel room, so not even somebody's yeah. house. Basically. Yeah, we're in an apartment, but it's a one bedroom, so okay. Anyway, um, this is adorable. I actually, what I'm, what I like the most about it is yeah. this painting in the box. Yeah, it's done like one of the old style classic gunpla. Yeah, um, which is just really neat to me. I don't real, even know the real dramatic katakana title up there. Yeah, Comic yeah, bookie. yeah, Poochie guy. Um, I might just cut this out and put it in a little frame. Exactly, exactly. So I'm, I'm going to definitely keep one of those like that. But we'll, we'll build one and show you what it looks like. Oh, absolutely. So here is the Kuranai Musha Red Warrior Amazing. Um, this is the exclusive version that is um, Plavsky Clear, mm -hmm. um, which is exciting as hell to me. I, now, these are exclusive to... Uh, this one is a convention exclusive. You can get this at any of the big um, Gunpla expos. expos. This one was an exclusive for the event that we were at. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. And so, and then this one is a Gunpla Expo exclusive. So you can get it at Gunpla Expos, but that's it. This is the... Up in the corner there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says there up there. Um, this is the RG00 Quanta. Um, and this is the, um, the um, Trans Am version. Cute. Yeah. I think I did a video for the Trans Am, uh, maybe Double O. Maybe. I think it's the Double O. Uh, but the Double O Quanta um, just came out in RG like yeah. last month. I did a video on that. I love it. Mm. Um, and, you know, I can't really pass up a new RG. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, actually, speaking of that, the Sananju. I'm been, uh, so, I've been told that the Sananju RG came out. Um, I did not see it today at Gunpla Expo. I mean, I saw it on display, but I did not see it for sale. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it for sale at Gundam Front. No. Um, so if you guys think that it's for sale, you know, I, you're welcome to prove it. But like, yeah, I, I yeah. really, really want we one. Can't find it yet. But yeah, I haven't seen it out yet. Um, so anyway, that's the RG00 Quanta. I will not do an unboxing video of this one um, because it's pretty much identical to the one that um, yeah. I've already done, but I will do a review video to show you and sure. to talk about the plastic in case it is um, different, yeah. which is, you know, sometimes the case. Um, so that's our haul. Yeah. Um, we did not get a massive amount of things, but we, um, oh, actually I, we, we got a non Gundam thing because we're fucking nerds. A wild Eevee appears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. Um, it's good for you. It is. It is. It gets, gets you out walking. Yeah. Um, so we we stopped by because the um, the the Ikebukuro Mall um, is the home of the biggest Pokemon Center, um, and so you know we had to stop in. Yeah. If you're looking for like something that's interactive and cute and fun, that is not what it is. No. 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 If no, you, no. If no, you no. want to get some exclusive Pokemon for your RPG game things, okay. If yeah. you want to buy a whole bunch of merchandise, okay. But that's all it is. It's yeah. a very crowded shop. It's very, very crowded. Yeah. Um, pretty much the entire shop is a line, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Um, like it's adorable stuff, no questions asked. But yeah. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, I think I had to wait about 45 minutes to check out. It was kind of it was, it, Yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Okay, so there you go. Yep. Um, there's our haul. Um, we will talk about a few of these things in the coming weeks. Yeah. Um, but we just wanted to toss that out there and talk a little bit about the stuff that we picked up. Um, if there's anything you want to hear us talk about, you know, we'd like to. I think that we are going to try this week to do a video talking about like where to get started into Gundam because oh, that's yeah, a thing yeah, that yeah. we keep getting um, asked about. Absolutely. So we'll do that. Um, and until next time, matane, everyone. Matane.